Hi guys, it's Harry. Um, I'm just going to show you how to change the fuel to air ratios on a two-stroke engine. Um, this is this is a, a hedge cutter I picked up from the tip up the road for five quid, um, which I'm going to which I'm going to sort out. Um, it runs, it cuts, it needs the blade needs sharpening. And I'm either going to sell it uh, and get another one, a better one, or keep this one. And it's actually pretty good for five quid. <laughs> so I'll just run it, start, start it up. Oh. So, off switches on. So as you can see it runs, um, on a two stroke engine you've got, normally, to change the fuel to air mixture you've just got two two screws, here on this one it's just above, it's just above the choke, choke, just next to the choke, on this one, and that's, that screw there, and that screw there, um, as I brought this second hand, I don't actually know which one's which, so it takes just a bit of working out. But on a newer, mod newer, um, newer thing, we'll probably have a label on it or in an instruction book. It will probably tell you. Um, so if I start it again. out because I've changed the ratios to one that it doesn't work. So if I screw that back down, and now I've probably screwed down a bit much, that's why we'll start. little bit much because you can hear it direct down and it cut out there. So if I just screw that back down half a turn. I think I screwed it down a little bit much because it's running a bit. You can hear it a bit quiet. So. Right, so it's still Still, uh, still, to put it down a little bit too much. So, caution of attorney. Let's say. Another trick I find if an engine is being a bit difficult to start when you first get it out of the shed for a while, for, for a long time, you just hold the throttle down. Here, let's just trigger there, then start it. Come off it. It should start, but this is cutting out. I don't know why, so... Right, it's, it's that screw to bring it out, I think. Right. Well, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna... It's just a matter of fiddling around with the two screws just to get the right ratio. And it won't cut it shouldn't cut out just put it out. Needs a bit of bit of fiddling I can hear that it's not running smoothly. See, I brought that screw out a bit much.
is um, just to make it run better. And well, I won't do it now because it's a bit, a bit, a bit late and take a, take a while. I'm gonna take off and inside there there's a fuel filter. So I'm gonna try and get out and uh, clean that out. Uh, if I, I'm not sure where the air intake in on this. I think it's underneath somewhere. I haven't had a chance to properly look on this because I only got it. I only got it uh, the weekend. It's Thursday now, but I got it the weekend when, and I've been at school and stuff, so I haven't had a chance to do much on it. Um, so I've got to find the air, uh, air intake. It's probably only really small. It might be under there. I'm not sure. Um, and I've got to clean that out, and then I'll take that off. I'll clean up the spark plug, uh, brush that down. Make that, make that um, with better contact. So just sand it down, and then I'll, uh, I'll then once done that, just have a little tin kernel. It should start running a bit better, and then I've got to sharpen the blades, and I'll bring you an update. Okay, bye.